Um, why don't you just walk around the wall? It's elementary, my dear Watson. Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows, um, the game, is a game based on the movie with the same name, which, as far as I can remember, was an okay movie, I guess? But the game, well, it's the game. It's a third-person shooter with horrible AI, a ton of glitches, and boring, stupid, broken gameplay. It's a movie-based game, basically. You can play as both Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. For some reason, Dr. Watson gets to have an automatic rifle. He's like John Rambo in this game. And Sherlock Holmes has this stupid little pistol with almost no ammo. And then he has to literally run up to guys that are shooting him with rifles and just fisticuffing. No, yeah, I know in the movie, he was this kind of mixed martial arts badass, but he was never stupid enough to run at a guy shooting at him with nothing in between them. The saving grace here is the AI of the enemies is so dumb, you can probably not get shot as you carelessly run at an enemy with a gun. You know how they say you don't bring a knife to a gunfight? Well, you certainly don't bring your fist to a gunfight. That's one below a knife. Sometimes Sherlock Holmes enters this bullet time event when he's up close and personal with the enemy. This was also in the movie where he can kind of slow down time because he's so smart and whatever. And he can basically think of all the punches he's going to throw and all the possible ways the enemy is going to attack. And in this game, this intricate part of the movie basically amounts to pressing Z or X when those buttons jump up on screen. Brilliant. The game is riddled with invisible walls. I mean, you literally have to follow a path. I think, really, the game's only saving grace is the graphics are okay for a game of this type. It's not winning any kind of graphical awards, but in terms of graphics, it's no Bubsy 3D. In terms of gameplay, the best part is the gun shooting. It's not good by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, this third-person shooter is very archaic. It feels like a budget game for the PlayStation 1. It just happens to not be broken and is better than the other parts of the game, which are, in fact, either broken or just ridiculously awful. Ultimately, this is a throwaway title with stupid gameplay, and that's why it gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 3 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.